Hi guys, I just got my Easy Share Wi Fi. As you can see, it's in the box. And all you have to do is take the unit and into the unit. and then stick it up the camera so i'm going to be testing it for compatibility with the ios and android and my mac computer now some people ask me why would you want to use such a device most cameras today have wi-fi built in but basically the features in every camera I've explored suck so I need to resort to this to get what to get my pictures on my mobile or on my PC as soon as possible so from the computer it turns out that there is no Mac software available at the time of this recording you press on your Wi-Fi and connect to easy share you go to your web browser and you write easy share dot card loads up the page and as you can see you can see all of the photos in your camera now from the ios what you have to do is you have to turn on your ios device and you need to install easy share from the app store once you installed it what you need to do is you need to set up the wi-fi you click on wi-fi and connect to easy share now the default password is 88888 so 88 turn on easy share if you go to the card album you can see you can download them to receive your pictures and you'll be able to see well it doesn't turn okay I guess it doesn't turn that's one negative for it all right so the interface four tabs so the first one is the card and it shows whatever is on the card the second is the local album third is the queue and it's whatever it's going to download and whatever it downloaded already setting my easy share and then if you were to write admin which is the default password you can change your SSID your Wi-Fi password your administrative password which is admin and the channel which is channel 11 the second tab is the push auto push what auto push allows you to do is automatically get all of the pictures as soon as the device connects with the app for some odd reason on the ios it doesn't work but i've tried it on the android and you'll see the options that they have world how to and feedback and um, screen sleep this stops the uh, telephone or your device from sleeping which allows it to continuously receive photos from the easy share so i just took a picture and as you can see the picture is right here that the pictures get cropped in ios and there is no option to actually say keep it as is um see it just recognized that there is a new picture and it should be queuing it voila it just did download it on the android kind of like the interface more so you have my album download it recognized that there's new pictures actually download them list them on the queue and then downloads them i like the home interface where you can share stuff and download uh, edit stuff and do collages you have to make sure that you're connected to easy share and then after that um, what you could do is press on download 
and then from here you'll be able to see the card and all of the pictures on the card organized uh, by however the camera organizes them local albums or whatever you've downloaded and then this is the download um, um, thing which tells you what's downloading right now and what have you downloaded already and if there is any errors it will tell you that it will, there was an error downloading a file so as you can see i just took two pictures two new pictures that just showed up voila as you can see it just downloaded the pictures and in the android you can actually tilt it and it'll be fine now for the android settings it's relatively straightforward and um, there's follow us up check for update which will actually update the firmware and help and settings sorry the sns setting which is the uh, network um, similar to um, instagram see here it says image quality high medium or low if it's set on high it's going to be downloading the original photos medium it will compress them a bit and low obviously it will compress them a lot you can change the destination however there you could only choose the folder uh, you could add a different folder inside easy share folder but you cannot actually do anything else as you can see you could all use the easy and i tried to actually save it on the memory card and it's not possible as well so what is my final ver verdict on this little thingy mm, i'm a little bit confused i like the fact that it's syncing with the android and ios uh, However, I don't see it uh, working as smoothly as I'd like to see it. Um, so, hmm, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Ask me, Ozzy, should I buy it? For $18? Absolutely. But keep in mind that there is extra expense, which is the extra memory card that you need to buy with it. Because without this memory card, it will not work it's just the case so there is additional expenses 